Okay mga kawaw, mat in this video, we will discuss graphing a line given the slope and a point on the line. So our objective, we will graph a line given the slope and the point on the on the line. So, uh, kung napanood ninyo yung previous video, yung graphing a line using slope intercept form. So, uh, may similarity sila nito, no? Kung paano mag-graph nung uh, slope intercept form, ganun din po ang slope and the point on the line. Ang difference lang, yung, yung previous video natin, video tutorial, y intercept. Ito, any point. Okay? So, kung napanood nyo po yun, alam nyo na rin to. Okay, so how are we going to graph a line given the slope and the point? So, dito, ang given na natin ay yung slope at point, hindi na y-intercept. Okay, pero yung process ng pag-graph natin, same lang po. Ang pinagkaiba lang, dun sa previous video natin, intercept ang given. Dito, point po. Okay, so let us uh, graph. So, ang unang gagawin, uh, we need to plot the point first. Yun palagi. And then, tsaka natin uh, ilalagay o ipaplot yung ating slope. Okay, so let's start. So, I have here two lines. So, una natin gawin si line A. So, iplot muna natin si point negative 2, 4. So, iplot natin si negative 2, 4. Ito siya. Okay, so this is your point negative 2, 4. Okay, after plotting this point, Kagaya nung ginawa natin sa slope intercept, ganun din po. So, ang run, ang rise natin ay dalawa. So, move tayo dalawang beses. 1, 2. And then, ang run natin ay 5. So, saan tayo magra-run? Pa right o pa left? Okay. So, pa right po. Bakit? Kasi po, ang slope natin ay positive. So, bilang tayo ng 5, papunta sa right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is your point. So, this is point 3, 6. So, we can now graph the line. Okay? So, this is how we graph kapag given ang slope at ang point. Plot first the point and then i-plot natin yung slope. Okay? Another example. Oh, by the way, this is line A. Okay, let us graph line B. So, First, plot negative 1, negative 6. Ito siya. So, negative 1, negative 6. Ito po. And then, from here, ang rise natin ay 5. So, up tayo ng 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, nandito na tayo. From here, tingnan natin ang run. Ang run natin ay 4. Now, the question is, papunta ba sa right or going to the left? Okay, this is going to the left. So, we will be moving to the left. Why? Because our slope is negative. So, yun po ang laging tatandaan. So, since ang slope natin ay negative, magmumove tayo pa left. So, bilang tayo ng apat. Since ang run natin ay 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, move tayo ng 4. So, this is your point now. Okay, and this is point negative 5, negative 5. One. Okay, so we can now graph line B. And this is the graph of line B. Another example. So, I have here line C. So, we let we will plot first your point. So, your point, bakit ba nauuna natin pinaplot si point? Okay, kasi po, dun tayo magsisimula ng rise and then run natin. So, kung hindi mo ipaplot ang point, hindi ka naman pwedeng mag-rise over run ng ano dyan, kahit saan. Okay, so iplot-plot muna natin si point, which is your 3, 2. So, dito dapat, ayun. Okay, and then after plotting your point, move na natin yung rise over run. So, your rise is 3, move tayo ng tatlong beses. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this is your point 3, 2. So, 1, 2, 3, from here. San tayo pupunta, right or left? Asa ng run natin? Going to the right or moving to the left? Yes, it's going to the right because our slope is positive. So, move tayo pa right. Dalawang beses. One, two. So, this is your point. Okay? So, this is your point and this is point five, five. Okay. Now, we can now graph line C. Okay. So, as you can see, our graph rises or increases from left to, left to right because our slope is positive. 
another. So I have here 5 negative 6. So we will plot first 5 negative 6. So this, ito yung 5 negative 6. So it must be here. Okay. Now, after plotting your point, Let's do the rise over run. So, your rise is 4. So, a path 4 times. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, after uh, doing your rise, dito na tayo from here. Are we moving to the left or to the right? Yes, it's to the left because our slope is negative. So, from here, move tayo pa left. How many times? 7. So, from here, move tayo pa left 7 times. 1, 2. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, here's your point. And this is point negative 2, negative 2. Okay. So, we can now graph the points. or okay, Graph the line. Okay. So, this is the graph of your line D. Okay. Let's have another. So, graph the line that passes through negative 4, negative 5 and whose slope is 9 over 5. Okay, so identify natin muna yung point at yung slope. Ano ang slope natin? 9 over 5. This is your rise over run. And then our point here is negative 4, negative 5. So, ipaplot muna natin si negative 4, negative 5. Asan si negative 4, negative 5? So, dito dapat siya sa quadrant. Uh, quadrant. Okay, so ito po siya. So, dapat nandito siya sa quadrant 3. Okay? So, this is your quadrant 3. Paano tayo ha? Clockwise kapag nagbibilang tayo, uh, nag, uh, ano tayo ng quadrant. Okay, so ito po yung ating uh, negative 4, negative 5. So, dito siya mapupunta sa ating quadrant 3. So, after plotting negative 4, negative 5, anong next? Let's move the rise over run. So, ang rise natin ay 9. So, move tayo ng 9 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ayun na siya. So, dito tayo nag-end. Okay? Our run is 5. San papunta? Right or left? Very good. Going to the right because our slope is positive. So, from here, move 5 times to the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, here's your point. And this is point 1, 4. Okay, so let us now graph the line by connecting this point. So, this is the graph of the given uh, negative 4, negative 5 and whose slope is 9 over 5. Okay, let's have the last example. So, graph the line that passes through 6, negative 2 and whose slope is negative 4, 8. So, identify muna natin si slope. Your slope is negative 4, 8. And then, our uh, point is 6, negative 2. So, let us plot first 6, negative 2. Here's your 6. And then, going down. So, this is your 6, negative 2. Okay? So, let us do the rise over run. So, your rise is 4. So, bilang ng apat. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, from here, ano ang ating run? 8. Are we going to the left or to the right? Are we moving to the left or to the right? So, since this is negative, our slope is negative. So, therefore, we will be moving to the left. Okay? So, from here, how many times? Pa left tayo? 8 times. Kasi our run is 8. So, 8 times going to the left. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Bilang tayo ng 8. And here's your point. Okay? And this is what point? Anong ordered pair ito? Negative 2, 2. Okay? So, we can now graph the line by connecting this point. So, this is the graph of the line that passes through 6, negative 2 and whose slope is negative 4 over 8. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.